one of the top cornerbacks of the Big Ten, Rashard Fant, is with us. And Rashard, let's talk first about Coach Tom Allen. You had the uh, privilege of playing for him last year as your defensive coordinator, and so you might have some insight that some of the other guys wouldn't have. Give us a sense of Coach Allen's leadership style. Uh, you know, I think it's very passionate. Uh, the mindset he brings, you know, um, he preached to us yesterday, you know, he's an underdog, you know, came up through the ranks from high school to D3, D2, D1. So, you know, he's, um, you know, he was never given anything. He had to work hard for everything. So, you know, he takes it seriously. He's so passionate about everything. Um, we, of course, you know, he loves us, you know, LEO love each other. So, preached there all the time. But, you know, just him wanting to always work hard and wants us to work hard. And like he says, effort is a non-negotiable. So, you know what type of guy you're getting every day. It's the same guy. And he's always going to be passionate no matter if he's tired or not you're not even going to know if he's tired. So we love him. Um, we're grateful to have him as our head coach and, of course, our D coordinator as well. You're a pretty veteran in the back end. How does that help the unit, your, all your experience? Uh, the experience definitely helps the communication, being battle-tested, so the big games, you know, you've been in there, you've been in the big arenas um, and everything, so that definitely helps, you know, but at the same time, you still got to go out there and you got to make plays and continue to get better and bring the young guys in. Now we have veteran guys we can lean on, but we have some good young guys coming in from um, Jawan Burgess, you know, Raheem, uh, Raheem Lane, and also Dede, so, which is Damian Hunt. So um, I love the veteran uh, leadership that we have, but also like the young guys we have coming in. I don't think it was ever a question about your talent and your skill set, but what clicked for you last year? You had this unbelievable season. What clicked for you? Um, just, I think, you know, being more comfortable, um, believing in myself even more to the higher standard and having great teammates in front of me. I mean, when we're blitzing, you got T-Gray getting back there, Marcus Oliver getting back there, and our D-line holding it down. I mean, I just got to, you know, be able to hold my own for three, four seconds. And even if they don't get there, you know, they believe in me. So that made me even believe in myself even more. So, I mean, just continuing to work, um, taking the coaching, Coach Shelby, Coach Allen, Coach Nojo was giving me and just believing in my front seven. Like, I knew they were going to get the job done. So just wanted to get the job done for them as well. We hear and see the word breakthrough. What would be some examples that you've broken through? Breakthrough, I mean, just um, finishing games, you know, when we have that lead, whether it's three, ten-point lead, you know, defense being able to hold it for our own, you know. Um, we had some leads last year in the fourth quarter that we didn't hold on to, and it wasn't offense scoring enough points. It was defense not getting the stop, whether it was us giving up a key third and seven or just not finishing a drive. So those things, you know, showing that we've taken that next step, which would be getting those big third down stops in the fourth quarter, finishing games, whether it's on offense, defense, and special teams breaking through, no matter who our kicker, punter, or returner is, you know, just doing the things we need to push us over there and get that key win. What's been the biggest difference that you've been able to see? Got a great vantage point of this as far as the offense is concerned from last year to this year. Man, it's kind of really similar. I mean, tempo, they may even go faster, which I know is going to be hard to believe. But, I mean, they've been keeping us on our toes, running back and forth, moving so fast. But, you know, um, they have a new scheme. Um, I definitely think the use of the tight end is key. You know, Ian Thomas is definitely underrated. God nobody knows about, but he's working hard. He's one of the most deadly pass catchers on our team. So, I mean, our receiving core is, I definitely would say, one of the best in the Big Ten country with Semi, Nick Westbrook, Luke Timmy, and Jay Sean, Donovan Hill, Taser Max. So, it's stacked. We get Gilbert getting and good work every day, and, and oh, it just makes us better. So I can't wait to see what they do on Saturdays and Thursdays. <laughs> Rashard, fan of the Hoosiers. Thanks a lot for your time, Rashard. Best Thank of luck so this year. Thank you. Let's go back to Rick in Chicago.